Okay, so does a diet play a role in a better condition of life if you have autism? Well, let's discuss it right now. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan. I have autism and ADHD, and I make weekly videos all about this stuff because I'm obsessed with helping autistic people, individuals like yourself, reach full potential, reach maximum life capability because I know it's in you. I know you're amazing, and we can do this together. You are awesome. That being said, if you want to come along for this journey with me and be part of this movement, you can do by clicking the subscription button down below by clicking that notification bell. If you click that, then you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which I do quite often. And actually, if you follow me on social media, you'll see four videos a day from me because I'm just obsessed with wanting to help people. Guys, this whole idea of diet is quite a controversial one. You hear some kind of people saying like, oh, you know, it's a gluten-free diet helps people with autism overcome some issues and all this kind of stuff. And what I do believe that gluten intolerance is, you know, can create a difficult life for anybody, not just one on the autism spectrum. I don't believe it's the sole way to overcome issues or, or help manage issues on the autism spectrum. However, what I will say though, is that because autistic individuals have such fast paced brains and their minds going a thousand miles an hour they're burning through calories like nobody's business and they're chasing dopamine constantly which means that fizzy drinks high caffeinated drinks and and candy and and soda pop and and stuff like uh pizza and junk food like all these things are dopamine rich right and so they're going to create a dopamine high for anybody who who's chasing those and so autistic people are you know susceptible to that now if i were to say that the chicken nugget should be the international symbol for autism then Everyone would be agreeing right now. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree that the chicken nugget is kind of like the symbol of autism. But unfortunately, chicken nugget isn't very varied in nutrients. It's not very high in anything other than protein and fats. So this leads me to the role of diet in autism. Now, in order to function, autistic people will need a lot of varied nutrients because when you're faced with a fast pacing brain, you're burning through calories, you're burning through, you know, mega amounts of energy all day, you can't just really survive on chicken nuggets. You know, yes, they're gonna give you protein, yes, it's gonna give you a little bit of energy, but you do need good carbohydrates. You need a mix of vitamins and multivitamins. Now, the best way to do this obviously is to have a varied diet because then it keep your brain at maximum function, keep your brain at maximum efficiency, and the autism brain is a delicate, perfect, amazing thing. So you want to treat it as such, but I know autistic individuals do not like a lot of varied foods. This is very common and I get it. So what did I do to change this? Now, I'm just like any other, you know, autistic individual. If I could just eat chicken nuggets for the rest of my life, that would be the same. Even though I'm vegan, I'd still eat vegan chicken nuggets, right? However, I decided to add in smoothies to my diet because I like fruit juices. I don't like kind of fruit in general. Um, I like sweet tasting things. So if you can have a smoothie that tastes like a milkshake every day, you win because you can put as much nutrients in that as possible. They can jam pack full of all good healthy stuff. I actually prefer green juices now because they look green, but they taste like tropical juice because you can just put in like lemons and pineapples and apples and berries and stuff in it. By introducing those into your diet, what you will do is cover the fact that there's a deficit for nutrients in the autism diet and also satisfy that need for a bit of dopamine hit. It's a win-win situation. Now, I'd love to know your like experience on this and your your input, pop it in the comment down below. I read every single one, by the way. And I have a free Autism Life Hacks PDF book you can download from autismhacks.net right now. Check the link down below. Peace.